Yeah, there's no doubt about it, Scott. I mean, look, take a look at the reaction. As a matter of fact, yesterday, how about that move where we reversed 400 points, give or take, and today now we're just adding to that. Uh, it's it's a remarkable move to the upside. People, you know, there is that fear of missing out sort of an idea as well, right? Everybody's looking at this and they're saying, look, when is my opportunity? People are looking at a lot of these names. There are so many names that have been absolutely beaten over the last couple of weeks, couple of months from those highs. And, and I think that's part of it as well. People are looking for opportunity and they don't want to miss the opportunity. So it seems like that's exactly how the, the, the evolution of this is going to be played out, Scott, is do they feel comfortable enough if there is stabilization in the 10-year, if we're going to hold for a little while, as, as Jim was referring to, then yes, I think that there are a lot of those names that were absolutely beaten down. Some of those names deserve to be down. I think there are other names, however, that, that were, were just brought down with the rest of them, and those are the names that are absolutely skyrocketing today. Okay, Jason Snipe, I'm wondering whether you think this is a sign that tech is bottoming, that we should start feeling better about what that area of the market is doing. Tom Lee said the following, the market reversal in our view is the most important development in the past 24 hours. Monday's reversal is a sign that sellers might be done selling or more simply the deleveraging associated with Fed hikes might be nearing the end. Is that how you see it? As J.P. Morgan's Marco Kalanovic also says, near term, we recommend buying the dip. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's a great point by Tom. You know, I think it was very encouraging to see the Nasdaq bounce off that 200-day yesterday. I mean, that was a quite a quite a turnaround. And also watching the Fed commentary this morning, and obviously looking at the minutes last week. I mean, last week obviously it was concerned about the tone, you know, and and that the Fed was looking to be more hawkish. And I think that, you know, if you look at what what Powell is talking about today and saying, okay maybe shrinkage of the balance sheet might not be on the docket. We're still trying to figure this out. It's going to take a long time. Um, that path to normalcy is going to take some time. So I think the, the market is responding well to that. I don't think my, my, my tone hasn't shifted on non-profitable tech. I think those are still difficult trades. But I think the, the, the mega tap areas, you know, Microsoft was down almost 6% last week. I think those are areas and opportunities uh, to buy. You know, so I, I agree with Tom's point here. 